Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville, Tennessee. It's known for country music. Es conocida por la música country. Now, country music, or la música country, pretty much all sounds alike. Es básicamente todo sonido igual. Somebody's losing a wife or a dog or something. Ninety-eight percent. Noventa-ocho por cien. Of what's on the radio. Lo que está en el radio. In country. En country. Rock. Rock. And unfortunately, in worship. Y desafortunadamente en la adoración. All sounds the same. Todos son iguales. Do you know that? Do you know what that tells me? ¿Sabes lo que me dice eso? There's no connection with the spirit. La conexión con el espíritu. The ear hears. El oído escucha. Copies what it hears. Copia lo que escucha. And the soul creates. Yes, y el alma crea. From copying. But see, when the spirit gets there, God is a spirit. Dios es espíritu. And God says, My ways are above your ways. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts. What that means is, God is not out of ideas. God is not trying to figure out what's next. God is trying to figure out when His children are going to actually get in the spirit. So he can download fresh new ideas. Fresh. He is not out of ideas. He is not confused. No. But if you don't get in the spirit, all you're going to do is sense his presence. In the soul. You understand what I'm saying? Your soul will sense his presence. But it's your spirit that communicates with you. Because God is a spirit. And they that worship must worship in the spirit. Hallelujah. Worship is impulse es impulso and determination. Y determination. In other words, in otras palabras, it's spontaneous es espontánea, and it's planned. Y es because great relationships grandes relaciones, that are vibrant son and alive y vivas, are both spontaneous and planned. Let me help you. I want to help make things a lot simpler. I'm not real smart. So if God doesn't make it simple, I'm in trouble. Everything in your life has a spiritual counterpart. First spirit, then natural. You understand? First the natural, then the spiritual. I'll give you an instance. Do you know why you get married? Are you sure? Because you're lonely? Because you want a companion? No. You get married so you can learn how to treat God. Because how, because how you treat your mate is probably how you treat your God. Do you know why you have children? Not just so you can procreate. Not just so we can fill up the world. <laughs> you have children. So that. You can learn. How much God loves you. How many are mamas? How many papas? When you look in the face. Of that little bitty lizard, I mean child. 
when it's first born. Love, how many remember the first time you held your baby? Wow. Woo! Most beautiful baby in the world. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Everybody around you go, that baby is ugly. <laughs> and you go, no! Most beautiful baby in the world. You see that baby through the eyes of God. Yes. And can I tell you something? It doesn't matter what that child does. That child may disappoint you. That child may upset you. That child may grow up and leave you. May never talk to you. That child may turn out to be a criminal. But I promise you this, regardless of where they go and what they do, you never stop loving them. Can I help you something? If you being earthly know how to love your baby, how much more? Does your heart love Feeling like God didn't love you. Feeling like you had nothing to give. How many of you? Raise your hand. We have a great enemy. He's smart. He can make a son feel like a slave. And as long as the son feels like a slave, that means he has no inheritance. Slaves don't have inheritance. Sons do. Yes. It doesn't matter if you work as a maid, a builder, carpenter, doctor, doctor. It doesn't matter. When you figure out that the day you became a Christian, you were adopted. You know that. From the child's perspective, it's really better than being a natural birth child. Why? Because the children that you had naturally, you're stuck with. If they're ugly, you can't put them back. But when you adopt something, when you adopt a child, you go to the orphanage and you pick up the one you want. They don't just hand you one. We have been adopted. He wanted to. 
Gracias.